And welcome back. Could a breathalyzer soon be able to test for marijuana? A Phoenix company hopes to make that a reality with its new technology. And if it comes to fruition, the new tool could shift how police check for impaired drivers. But experts say that could take time. Team 12's Michael Doudna spoke to the company's CEO just a few hours ago about the technology and their hope for the future. And while the idea of creating a breathalyzer for marijuana may seem simple, it becomes much more complicated when you think of creating a whole new standard for a system to live by. When you drink and blow, whoa, 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 whoa. you know that if it's over 0 0.08, you're in trouble. But what if you smoke? Right now, it's hard to test or how much marijuana or THC is in your system. Attorney Ben Taylor says the system is subjective. When law enforcement or employers test for the drug, they often use blood, urine, or saliva tests to look for THC. But the thing is, that chemical can stay in a person's <laughs> system for like weeks and is not always correlated with current impairment. We don't run the risk of a week from today being tested at work and then being fired because we used alcohol a week ago. But that's sort of the problem we face with marijuana. And Evan Darzi, the CEO of Electrotech, hopes to change that with a marijuana breathalyzer. This is a THC molecule. And while that molecule can stay in your body for a while, recent studies show that it becomes undetectable on your breath after around four to five hours. That kind of encompasses what we call the window of impairment. The challenge is creating the tech, taking a machine that's the size of a table and shrinking it. Onto something that's handheld and you know under 100 bucks. But realistically, the machine will be a first step because after you get the information, then you need to know what these THC levels mean. Use that in a clinical setting to start to establish these sorts of things, like how much is co correlated to impairment. We don't have that right now. Darcy hopes that this breathalyzer could help create a more consistent standard for how we handle impaired driving in the future. But cautions, that will take time, and research. We have a lot of work to do, but you got to, you know, this is the beauty of science. We start somewhere. Michael Doudna, 12 News.